Hi, my name is Devesh Jain and I am a research scholar at NCRA TIF. I, with my fellow mates here at National Center for Radio Astrophysics, are bringing in exclusive content from established astronomers who will talk about their life, their journey, and their work, what keeps them sleepless at nights, and especially what the future holds in for young astronomers like us. Uh, hello to all the young friends who are watching this. I'm Yashwan Gupta. I am an astronomer. I work at the National Centre for Radio Astrophysics in Pune. My name is Divya Oberoi. My name is Poonam Chandra. Mazhar now Yogesh Vardekar ahe. Many of you may have heard about the giant meter wave radio telescope or the GMRT, uh, which is located near Pune, about 80 kilometers north of Pune, which is a facility that was built by NCRA and is run by us. It is one of the largest low frequency radio astronomy observatories in the world. We have a very high quality experienced faculty at NCRA, working again in a diverse range of topics in astrophysics. And some of that you will hear from colleagues uh, uh, talking shortly after this. Science is a passionate pursuit. Scientists and their pursuits are motivated by the sheer will of pushing the boundaries of knowledge. Let's hear our professors on what motivated them to embark on this passionate journey. My Khagol Shastra was started in 1985. That was the Halley's Comet, which is a comet, the Dhumketu. तो शाहतर वर्षानी परत ये थोता, अनि त्यावे ही सर्व माध्यम अत्नर टीवी वर्तमान पत्र वगैरे यह चबदल बरीज महिती ये थोती, अनि त्यावे ही आसे सांगितला गेला कि हबल सॉरी हेलेस कॉमेट्स अजर का तुम्हाला अभ्यास कराई था सेल निरीक्षण कराई था सेल तो तुम चकरे दूरबीन अशना आवश्यक है, मनुन मनुन म बरेट लोकांशी बोलो निकटन तिकटन सल्ले घिउन पुस्तक वाचून लाइब्रेरी थी ये सगा करुन मी माजा माजी स्वताची दुर्बीन तेरावया वर्षी मी बनोली आणि त्याचा वापर करुन मी या हेलीचा धूमके तोचा निरीक्षण के तेहवाच माला खगोल शास्त्राची खूब आवड निर्माण झाली आणि मी ऐसे ठरोलो की मोठा झाले नंतर आपण � the experiment we were doing was the so-called Reimers experiment, the first experiment to measure the speed of light. And it seemed really amazing that just by looking at the times when a moon of Jupiter is being occulted behind uh, the planet and doing it across six months, you could actually measure the speed of light, which is, it, it seemed to me like playing Sherlock Holmes, which is something which I was reading at that time as well. So it seemed very exciting to me to be sitting at some tiny speck in the universe and asking and answering profound questions about the rest of the universe just by analyzing the tiny bits of light which come to us. And that is really what drove me into astronomy. An astronomer observes astronomical objects like stars, planets and galaxies, anything outside the field of Earth, by either making observations or doing the theory. Let us understand from Professor Divya, Professor Yogesh, and Professor Poonam on what they work on. What we are really studying uh, is our own sun, the nearest star, the source of life on Earth, uh, studying it in low radio frequencies. And the optical sun is very boring, right? It never changes. But the radio sun is amazingly dynamic. And in our sort of technology reliant society today, there are lots of things which happen on the sun which impact right, uh, right here on the Earth. You probably have read about the recent case of uh, some 40 satellites of this constellation being lost to a solar storm. So those are the sorts of things which we are trying to build the capability to predict. That's one of the science areas I work in here. Sun is a very average star in our universe. But some stars are very heavy, very heavy. Ten times more than sun ke mass. And their lifetime is very short. काफी एक्साइटिंग होती है और उनकी डेथ्स और भी एक्साइटिंग होती है ऐसा हर स्टार काफी बड़े विस्फोट के साथ अपनी लाइफ खत्म करता है और मैं उसको समझने की कोशिश कर रही हूँ दीर्घी कंची उत्क्रांति कशी होते हैं मंजे वेरे नुसार त्यंचत कसे कसे बदल घड़त जाता है यहाँ सा अभ्यास मैं करता हूँ यहाँ � what about you? 
Are you ready to dive into this amazing field which lies in the intersection of science and technology? Let us hear from our professors on what the future of astronomy holds in for us. I think one thing I, I personally felt that the way we are taught science in schools is that it's sort of taught in the past tense, right? That it has happened and that's how it is. But I think what I would advise you to do is to think about it and question everything. Question not from necessarily the perspective of proving something wrong, but from the perspective of understanding it better. There is a lot more yet to be understood as compared to what we know. So I think it's a really ripe field for young, curious, smart minds to get into. Khagol Shastra, as I said, in the past 10-15 years, in the past 10-15 years, there is a big deal in the past 10-15 years. And there is a lot of work in the past 10-15 years. We welcome uh, youngsters who want to visit, uh, get a feel for uh, how things work what we do and what is the exciting things that uh, we learn about the universe using radio astronomy at NCRA. Um, and uh, so you should feel free to send us your queries to even uh, pester us, if I may say so, with uh, your, uh, you know, a desire to come here to visit or to learn more about astronomy and uh, to pursue your career uh, to become uh, astronomers and we hope to see many of you taking up uh, this as a career in the future.